Stop. You're not allowed inside. Sorry? Go away. Today is a private evening. But I have a reservation. It's for Mrs. White. Maybe I can help you? W-H-I-T-E. You will not get inside. Park somewhere else. Call the manager, please. Uh, Jill! How can I help you? Hi. I have a reservation. Were you not told we have a private function today? Uh, it was confirmed by phone this morning. The last name is White. Indeed, Mrs. White. You are on the list, but I'm afraid you cannot go inside. Sorry? You are not dressed up according to our dress code. All visitors have to wear high-heeled shoes. You know, there is a van across the street. They have delicious hot dogs and they always have free tables. Try to go there instead. Have a nice evening. Has critic arrived yet? Mr. Book is here? No. Okay, so tell me when he appears and stride in the back. Remember, greeting is very important. This is our first impression, right? Sure. Perfect, thank, thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, miss. Oh, I'm not buying anything. Oh, I'm not selling anything. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Um, I'd like to buy your shoes. I can offer you double or triple price. Trip? Why? Are you crazy? It's just, um, I really, really need them. I have cash. Um, this should be enough. Okay, but I can't stay barefoot in the middle of the street. Yeah. Fair enough. You can take my sneakers. They're quite new. A clam chowder for me, please. No. Oh. Then gumbo. No. Um. Chicken? No. Blueberry pie? No. Sorry, is there any problem? You're not quite welcome here. Why? Is it because of my wheelchair? You don't see a person in me at all? All right, um, I'll have the same what that gentleman ordered. Okay. And a coffee, please. Wait a minute. Yes. Are there nuts in that dish? Yes. Oh, I'm allergic to nuts. What other choices can you offer? Nothing. All right, then bring me a nut-free serving, please. No, it's impossible. So what should I do? I'll bring a fork. You can take the nuts out yourself. Wait a minute. Yes. Please put my phone on a charger and let me know if someone called. I'm waiting for a very important call. Okay. Waiter! Come here. May I help you? Yeah, put on some tango. I want to dance. Sure, sir. Thanks. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Did anybody call me? No. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm watching. Well, thank you. Come here. Go. What a mess. Sorry? Is there a sign for cripples on the door of the restaurant? What? How were you even allowed in here? That's nonsense. You're spoiling my appetite with your pathetic look. I I'm sorry. Any problem, sir? Oh, yes. We have a problem. I want to dance, but that cripple is blocking the half of the hall. And what's more, she's ruining my mood. 
I understand. I'm so sorry, sir. We'll fix everything. Don't worry. I'm sorry? You apologizing to him? You know what? I'm not up for this anymore, and it's all your fault. And you're too. Come on, baby. Cooper, take her away. Roll her, I don't know, move her, carry her in, in your arms elsewhere. <sighs> Thanks God Brooke hasn't arrived yet. And and bring that gentleman a piece of cake to apologize for spoiling his mood, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. Take her to the far corner somewhere. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, I'm sorry, but your table is reserved. Could you take another table? But I ordered this particular table. I can't do anything about it. Program fellow. <clears throat> Shall I bring you the bill? No, I'll tell you when I want the bill. Actually, could you please take me to the restroom? No. Pardon me? Ma'am, you can't use the toilet here. It's not for people like you. People like me. And by that you mean... I see. Am I now good enough to use your toilet? Huh? Uh, any problems here? Problems? Yes. You have plenty. You know, I'm fed up with your restaurant. I'm fed up with disrespect and discrimination that I face. Ma'am, no need to shout. I'll ask you to leave now. Perfect. I'm leaving. I'm sure my readers will be happy to read about this. I'm Brooke White, a food critic. But you can call me your executioner. Any last uh, words? Uh, not possible. Uh, the critic Brooke is a man. A man? Who told you that? What's your assumption? By the way, you can start packing your things. This place will be closed. Excuse me, M Mrs. Brooke. I I'm pretty sure it's a big misunderstanding. No, no. I perfectly understood where I was going to. Do you think I haven't read the reviews? People with disabilities complained they were not allowed in. That they were treated rudely and not served well, so I had to make sure of it myself. And you know what? I'm glad to be here. Yes, I'm glad. Because now I will close this place for sure. Your professional reputation is ruined forever. And I think your personal one too. But I hope this will teach you and your guests that so into tango to respect the rights of people with disabilities. May I? Thank you. Miss Brooke! Miss Brooke! Oh, I almost forgot. Perfect. This will go to the cover. I'm sure my readers will be happy to see the faces of the heroes.